Hi, this is Bitluni and today we are going to build a simple 4 wheel 4 kW electric cart. To build a cart I will salvage parts from an old project. It's a test vehicle I built with my friend Jan a year ago for my self-driving car series. You might recognize him from the first video on that topic. In lack of time we didn't come far. However, I can reuse the parts on a smaller cart that fits in the trunk of my car. It will be driven by four 1 kW hub motors. Since we also need a seat, I will take this old car seat that I got from the junkyard for the flight simulator I never finished. 80 by 80 centimeters will be big enough for the seat while still fitting in my trunk. What I did first is to configure the electronics to be usable with the remote controller, but more on that later. Cool. <laughs> Let's start with the mechanical build. Warning, the following footage contains potentially dangerous situations which have been performed by qualified stunt doubles. Please don't try this at home. <laughs> All right, all right. That might not be the proper way to use an angle grinder. But it gets the job done. After I cut all parts to length, I grinded the angle sections to be square. Time for some welding. Last time you complained I should secure my gas bottle. I heard you. I will use these bags of Blumenerde and that Profi mayonnaise salad bucket this time to secure it. That should work. I tacked the frame first and whacked it to be square. After that it's just dozens of my crappy tick welds to get the frame done. Grinder and paint, make me the welder I ain't. No time for the paint though. This spare wooden board will make a good floor. If you wonder, I had to continue inside since it became so late. The mounting of the board is done with some 6mm bolts. Last part is just to mount the wheels.
Before we test, let me walk you through the electronics quickly. It's not final, so it won't be elaborate. Everything is evolving around four of these speed controllers. They can be programmed over USB and control the motor and read the hull effect sensors. They are based on the OpenVesc project and you can get them from different sources. My latest ones are from eBay. The easiest way to control the speed is using this sensing connector. I connected it to the receiver which is also getting its 5 volts from it. The card is controlled like a tank with forward and backward for each side. So we have two controllers connected to two channels. Since the second controller has its own power source, the 5 volt wire is not connected to the receiver. Each side of the card has two controllers. The secondary controller is connected as a slave over the CAN bus and it's doing exactly what the master does. The hub motors require 48 volts, so I'm using two 6 cell LiPos in series for each controller, which are connected with an anti-spark XT90 connector. Soldering all the connectors, wires and configuring the software took just like the mechanical build a complete day. To charge all the batteries I used this dual charger from eBay. Works quite nice without the need for an external power supply. If you need any of the parts for your projects, you can find a complete list in the description. Now let's test it finally. The steering is really bad, but I got practice in drifting quickly, which is really fun. Okay, let's test it with a passenger. Even though this project was quite expensive, I had already a ton of fun until now. The steering needs definitely improvement, but that's something for another time. If you liked it so far, please subscribe and consider supporting projects like this on Patreon with a channel membership or a PayPal donation. See you next time, bye!